In this video, using TL small parameters, we look suitable enclosures for this high pi F10 10, 10 inch woofer. First, let's look the sub features and those parameters. And then start the simulating suitable boxes. And then lastly, I give you some box design recommendations. Firstly, I want to mention that this driver is advertised as mid plus woofer with the frequency range of 28 Hz to 3 kHz. I cannot comment how well this works with the mid frequencies, but we are definitely going to simulate how well this works with sub bass and what kind of enclosure it will need to get low. This is under 120 euro driver and for that price it has some nice features. But to simulate responses of this driver we need the parameters and that is where I encountered some difficulty. Stores seem to have the same and all the needed parameters listed. But not the inductance, LE. And there was also probably old data sheet that had totally different values for this driver. So easy way to be sure that I have the right parameters is to go into manufacturer's website. That would be in this case be this Chinese website where if we then click into English website it redirects into this Swan website because Chinese Hi-Fi owns Swan speakers. Problem is that this Swan website is really buggy and I could not find the F10 driver parameters here. So this old Swan Europe website seems to be the best source to find right parameters. They are the same parameters that stores use, so that is good. I'm rating this datasheet 1 out of 3, not because the bad experience, just because this data doesn't have that LE parameter. That would increase this score. But anyway, we can start simulating without that LE number, it doesn't affect that much in the base region that we are looking anyway. Chinese hi fi website gave out this vented suggestion for the woofer and Bart Express had these two enclosure suggestions. And these two last enclosures are calculated using MH audio website calculators. And here is all the responses compared. These base box suggestions seem too small for sub base application. But let's bring up also excursion info into this other axis. With the boxes simulated at this voltage. This shows that the X max is somewhat limiting factor with these bigger enclosures. That just means that you need to make it compromise with low end extension versus output or how hard you want to push this up. If you want maximum low end extension, I think this high fi website suggestion is good option. But let's then look my recommendations. Ventilator shield and three different size vented enclosures. This largest vented is tuned higher than that high fi 60 liter vented suggestion, just to give you more options. Lastly, there is parallel tuned 6th order band pass, which is a little bit more sensitive. Other axis shows delay. In this graph, those same boxes are shown with the drive voltage that they can take before the linear excursion is starting to pass. Different voltage for each of them. If you want the lows, you need the bigger box, but that comes in the expense of getting more distortion to the getting more excursion. Also this 6 order bandpass maybe is good option only if you are limited with the amplifier power but not with the space. Impedance is shown with this other axis. This sub has the nominal impedance of 8 ohms. Conclusion is that Sealed for smaller enclosures can be good. You can go with smaller enclosure even than this, but
but that makes the system less damped. Polyfill maybe can encounter that effect a little bit. Medium vented is good option to recommend. This larger vented and that high five suggestion for the first graph are the options to get low end extension, but that comes with the compromise of hitting the excursion limit faster. That X max limit is the drawback of this driver in a subwoofer application, because there is at this price range drivers with more output capability. Maybe that is unfair to compare this driver to subwoofers, because it wasn't advertised as being purely a subwoofer, rather a woofer that can play wider frequency range. So, this driver definitely can have place in your project depending what you need. Thanks for watching, leave a like if you find this video helpful and check my other Subbox Design videos.